What's up everybody? Today in this video, we're gonna be going through 12 exciting new automations, not necessarily new to me, but new to you, uh, in your Airtable CRM, and these will get you more leads, you will qualify more, you will do a lot more personalization for your leads, and it'll just save you a lot of time in the process. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green, and I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and what we do is we help business owners with stuff exactly like this. So we help them optimize their information systems so doing automations in Airtable and Zapier, as well as Integramat, and using Airtable as like a CRM or a project management, integrating with Asana, integrating with Slack, and many other systems. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right in the video now. All right, so as you can see up here, we are actually in a sales CRM, and this sales CRM attracts a few different things. So just to go through that first, this is an example of something that could be built for you. And so if this has the op opportunity, so a new opportunity comes in with different information, maybe from a form or from Calendly or whatever that might be in your business. This is where new opportunities come in. And then uh, correlated to those opportunities, it's always correlated to an account. And at that account, you might have specific people you're contacting. So maybe you have multiple people you're contacting. And because opportunities are all one set of data, accounts are another, and contacts are another set of data, that's why these are in different tables. And it really help, Airtable really helps you keep track of these that way. And so then the last table here we have is interactions. And all of these will play a role in the automations, which is why I wanted to go through these first. So the opportunities, you can see the name, uh, the interaction you can see like what was the interaction about the accounts you can see just like the different companies that these would be and then the contacts are pretty self-explanatory who are they and what company are they linked to and you do that through these linked records as well so you can see they're linked to the interactions as well as the opportunities so for the automations I usually try to put a table at the end and like have a record of the automations going through the table have a record of like if I need to go access that zap or just know where that automation is happening from so I can if I notice something's wrong I have a little bit of documentation here so as I said there'll be 12 automations that I'll be going through and I actually set them up in this table so I could show you very easily so there's 12 here and some of them range in Airtable and others need Zapier depending on some of the other tools you're using they could all be in Airtable but or most of them could be an Airtable, but I'll go through this now. So our first one is this one right here. So you can, the 12 are listed in this column, and then the trigger for the automation and the actions are in these two columns. And then this is pretty self-explanatory, but the type, where's that at? So for this first automation, this is when a new opportunity comes in. And so if this is from a form or this is from a Calendly, we want to create that opportunity, but we want this to all be automated. So one thing we can do is we can try to find their email in the accounts or in the contacts table and create a new contact for them there. And we can also try to find their business name in the accounts table. And if they're not already in there, then we can add a new record in there. And there's some interlinking there between the contacts. Like if the contact is found, then we want to automatically link up to the account that's already linked to that contact. But this is a simple simple way to do this. If you want the opportunity to be created as well as the account and contact, you can do that with a simple Zapier automation. So you'd basically just be connecting to whatever software you're using for forms for the really narrowing down those leads to come into a select few forms to collect some select information so that you can qualify those leads. And then obviously there's two actions over here, find and create a contact and find and create an account. And the idea between the find and create rather than just create is maybe they're already in your sales CRM and you don't need to create duplicates. So you want to find them and if they're not found, then create them. So the second one is an if somebody is a good fit. So if you have qualifying data in your funnel so in in the form or in the calendly link like if you go to my website and go through the calendly link you'll see there's some questions on there so if you add some questions that if they're if they're a good fit they answer the question this way then they'd be a good fit and if they answer the question this way then they'd be a bad fit so you can write some really simple formulas 
in the opportunities or just use those questions to say they're a good fit or a bad fit. But further than that, when a record matches the conditions of a good fit, if you're just using a form, then maybe you want to send them an email with a Calendly booking link so that they can book a call with you right away and save you that step. So here, the first example that I thought of for most businesses is if you're B2B, then if they if that other business, their current revenue isn't over or is over X amount, then you would send them an email with that Calendly booking and with it all personalized with their contact and opportunity information. The second one is if they're a bad fit, you can also automate that. So you can automatically send that email depending on the criteria that you specify for someone being a good fit or a bad fit. And so then that saves you the step of weeding out who's a good fit, bad fit, and it saves you that next step email for whether they're the good fit or bad fit. So that's these next two, and these can be done do, using Airtable automations uh, without, without having to use Zapier. So you can just come up here to automations and do that. The next one is following up with a ghost prospect. So maybe you had a call with someone and it went really well and they're like, I'll reach out to you after this date or you can expect to hear, me back, hear back from me by this date and then you never hear back from them. That happens quite a lot. And so if you don't want to be manually checking, oh, when was the last time I talked to this person? When was the last time I talked to this person? You can write a really simple formula to find how many days has it been since I last contacted them. And then if it's over a certain amount of days, for this example, maybe seven days, then you send them an email saying, there's following up saying, what are, what, are, what are the next steps you see? And whatever you want in that follow up email. So that can also be done in Airtable. So now this next one is adding tasks to a project management software if somebody needs a proposal. So if you had a call with someone, it went really well and you're like, hey, I'm gonna send you this proposal but you don't want to remember that later. In the opportunities, if we come over here, we can just change them from qualification to proposal. And then once that is changed, that's all that needs to happen. We can have this automation fire and add that to our project management software. So if you're using like a tasks table in here, which I wouldn't do because it doesn't really get all of the different tasks in your business just for the CRM. But say you're using Asana and you can have it go add a task for this contact to add whatever tasks you need to do around creating a proposal. So you can do that really easy, easily using Zapier, connecting maybe Asana or connecting whatever project management software you use to that. So when somebody is a proposal, you will add the tasks in your project management software and you can actually add multiple tasks in your project management software. So for this automation, we are doing an onboarding or welcome email for someone you just maybe won on a proposal or one on a sales call. If you do like a one call close or two call close, whenever you mark someone in the opportunities table as the close dash one status here, you can have an automatic email sent to them. So that's the idea here. You can actually trigger in Zapier, maybe your whole onboarding sequence, but specifically in Airtable, what I'm covering here is just sending them that email with maybe information about the next steps, some reminders so that they they feel like, and you could add like a 15 minute buffer or something on that. So it has to match a couple conditions to maybe wait to send that email like 30 minutes after the call. But this can be something really good for personalization. You can add like all of your character in that email and, but it will pull information from the contacts table to personalize it to them specifically. So that can be done from the opportunities table using some lookup fields with the contacts. The next one is adding the onboarding tasks to your project management software. So maybe you still have a pretty manual onboarding process. What you can do is you can add those tasks in a zap. And so when somebody matches the conditions of close dash one, then you want to add those onboarding tasks to your project management so that you remember to do those and you don't wait to do those. The next one is an email testimonial form an email testimonial and referral form for someone who's closed dash one and done. So this would be someone who they hired you and they're done with the client fulfillment side of your business. So they're a happy customer or maybe they're not a happy customer and you would want to weed them out. But I don't think if you're watching this video, you would have any of them because, because you're used to running your business well. Um, but what this would do is you could create a form 
and it could send them an email asking for a testimonial. And then on that form, you could ask for any referrals they might have, other people like them that have the same issues that they, they think could benefit from your services. So this is a really easy way to get a systematized re referral process every time for anybody who's closed one and done. And this can be done through a really simple email just with a link to that form. And usually people are pretty happy to give their testimonial. And if they have a referral, hopefully they would give it to you. So this next one is a thank you email after a discovery call. So this would be from the interaction. So when the interaction type equals discovery call. So in here, when there, if you use like a form, maybe on every interaction you have with someone, you fill out a form and you submit it and say this was a discovery call, you can have a automated email go out to them, thanking them for the discovery call, maybe saying, I look forward to our next call. If you have like a sequential process, if you have your discovery call, then a demo call, you could say, I look forward to our demo call uh, whenever that is signed. If you want to keep track of that in here, you could, if you want to put that in the form when that next discovery call is, you could include that in the email. But again, this can be really personalized and this is a send email automation. So this can be done in Airtable. Another one is maybe you have your team all in Slack. And so if you have your team all in Slack, you just, you, maybe this is your salespeople now doing this and you just signed a new client on, you mark their status in the opportunities as closed one, then you want to send a Slack message, maybe in your like sales pipeline Slack channel and say new client uh, with all of their, like a lot of personalized information um, and like a lot of cel celebrating uh, emojis or whatever that is so that everybody knows you just signed a new client and you're gonna be helping more people. So the next one is running a weekly report for the clients in any stage in the opportunity table. So this can give you some really good reporting weekly on your new opportunities in the opportunity table. So you can use, uh, it's kind of more of a complex, uh, it's an advanced automation, but you can run that weekly report and you can say, this is how many new clients this week are in this stage. This is how many new clients this week are in this stage. And this is how many new clients this week are in this stage. So you can see week over week, it'll give you some reporting in Airtable as well. I'm not gonna go into exactly how to do this one, but just know you can run some weekly reports with some internal Airtable automations. This last one is following up with closed one and done leads after two months for possible additional opportunities that they have. So I know, I think Jay Abraham talks about like three ways to grow a business. And I think that's to like raise your prices, find more customers or get like repeat customers. So this last one is going for the repeat customers. And so this, maybe you want to wait two months after you have the client fulfillment process is done and they're very happy with it. And then you want to send them an email and say, Hey, just checking in. I know we had a really great experience working with you in the past. What do you think some next steps are? Do you have any new projects? Um, and really this needs to be tailored to your business, like what you serve people. Maybe you have a logical next step for them to take two months later after they're done with your first process that you took them through. So these are 12 automations and you can look through these and set these up yourself. Or if you want these automations set up for you in your business, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, if you really enjoyed this, I encourage you to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know maybe how to do some of these automated checklists based on these, the certain criteria being met, I actually show you in this exact same sales CRM and you can go learn how to automate checklists in Airtable in this video right up here. So just go click that end screen right there and it'll take you there and you'll learn all about how to automate a checklist based like for maybe this is like in your project management software or whatever tasks you have that can all be automated. So I encourage you to go click that right there. But without further ado, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.